So, the Nuggets, they could have drawn a more favorable opponent than yeah. Golden State, but they could have hardly drawn a better location to spend the weekend. Yeah, even if it's a weekend spent working like Denver 7's Nick Rothschild is doing, he joins us from San Francisco. Nick? Yeah, you're not wrong, Shannon. Hello, welcome from the uh, metaphorical shadow of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's it's actually red, not gold, but I digress. Somewhere down there tomorrow night, Nuggets Warriors game one of their playoff series. But the big news today, which I guess you probably saw coming, Steph Curry is going to play in game one. Not super surprising. Curry ran through a scrimmage on Thursday, then today another practice this afternoon. And uh, he's officially listed as probable, but the Warriors, well, they're saying he expects to play. And what does that mean for the Nuggets? Well, not much, since this is kind of what they were expecting all along. The thing about him is you know if he's playing, he's playing. You know what I mean? There's not like he's going to go out there and be limping around, running around slow. Steph would never get out there in the court unless he can be dangerous. You know what I mean? We know we're going to see a healthy play, a healthy step, and a healthy Draymond. And that, that's a team that's won multiple world championships. Yeah, injuries are going to have a unique flavor on this series. You've got on the Warriors' side, Curry's return and the Nuggets facing Draymond Green for the first time this series. And for the Nuggets, you still got Jamal Murray, status unknown, but dealing with the mental hurdles of recovering from ACL surgery. The basketball stuff usually comes back. I mean, we've been doing it for so long. I mean, how much more do you need to confirm that, you know, you're, you are who you are, you know? A lot of it's going to be mental, you know I mean? Trusting that knee again, training those muscles to explode at the level they did before. You know, I think those are the things that, you know, they're going to have to work out. Assuming Murray won't play, at least in game one, the Nuggets could really use a boost off their bench in the form of rookie Bones Highland. He is a guy I think could be the X factor in this game. Michael Malone says that Bones is a game changer when he's on and specifically with their second unit. If the Rook can provide scoring when Steph and Clay are off the court, that may help keep things close enough for Nikola Jokic to take over and dominate in the fourth. And Bones thinks he can do just that. When I check in the game, I know, you know, uh, playing with that pace, that confidence, and that, uh, that swag, and, and it's very contagious, and I can tell it goes through, throughout my whole team. And um, I, I feel as though just from there, when I come in and play with that pace, uh, I feel as though we do very good and very well. And um, that's something that I'm not going to change. Uh, just go out there and just be busy. So let's get down to brass tacks. Can the Nuggets win game one here in Golden State? Well, Vegas says no. The Warriors are six and a half point favorites, but Michael Malone doesn't like those numbers. He has his own numbers. We've won in their building. You know, we beat them twice out there. Uh, two, two games that were very close and we were able to pull them out. And that is a tough place to play. Not many teams go into Golden State and get wins on the road. So I think having that confidence, knowing that we've gone in there and beating them on that court uh, can only help us. All right, I think you're ready to watch the game, right? And coincidentally, you can watch the game tomorrow night right here on Denver 7. Coverage starts at 5 o'clock with Denver 7 News at 5. I, for one, am off to enjoy the Bay. Back to you. Please do. Thank you.